Hello world, Noah here, and welcome to the next video in the Python one-liner tips and tricks series. In this video, we're going to be talking about the ternary operator, which I just noticed I spelled wrong there, so operator for what it's worth. Uh, the ternary operator is present in pretty much any language, and so while we're going to be solving all of these in Python, this is one feature that's definitely not exclusive uh, to Python. And so let's look at today's problem. Here's the problem. Implement a function that takes as input an integer and returns the string even if the number is even and odd if the number is odd, right? And so this is a really straightforward problem and we have a nice solution on the left that's only four lines long. Uh, basically, if n mod two equals zero, that's how you check if a number is even. Um, and it's something that I do explain, I believe, in the, in the uh, Python uh, CS University series, so you can watch that uh, if you'd like. Uh, but basically, we're checking if the number is even, and if that condition is true, we return even, otherwise we return odd. And so here we have this, this fairly simple uh, if and else statement. And, and so we can't just collapse this down into one line directly because the if statement is a block, and the else statement's a block, and you need a semicolon between um, you know, the end of the if part and the beginning of the else part. And so we can't directly collapse it, but we can actually uh, use a, basically a different version of the if statement that behaves like, a, um, like an expression. And so here's what the syntax looks like. It's something like, let's say x is equal to uh, a if uh, condition else b. That's what it looks like. And so here's, here's basically how it breaks down again. So x will be equal to a if the condition is true and it will be equal to b otherwise. And the cool thing about Python is that when you read Python code, it very often sounds like English, and that's exactly what's happening here. x is equal to value a if the condition is true, and otherwise it's equal to b. It's super, super straightforward. Um, I'll just quickly point out in other languages, it would probably look something like this. So x is equal to uh, condition question mark a colon b. So if you're doing uh, a C-like language, C, C++, Java, and many other languages, um, it looks like that. So condition question mark a colon b, um, but in Python, it's a if condition else b. So it's a little bit different syntax, but it's the exact same uh, concept. And so to solve this, it's really straightforward to do in one line. We're just going to return. What are we gonna return? We're going to return the string even if the number is even, so the condition is uh, n mod 2 is equal to 0. And otherwise, if the condition is false, we're going to return the string odd. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So even if the condition n mod 2 equals 0 is true, uh, otherwise odd. That's it. Very straightforward. And this is one single statement because the ternary operator um, behaves, you know, as a single statement, that's 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 how it works, and so this is this is obviously this counts for our challenge. I'll point out two things really quickly. The reason why it's called the ternary operator is because it basically has three components. It has a condition and b, and so ternary basically it's it's three, right? It it means three, just like a unary operator, you know, means one. So like for example, negative one that minus sign is a unary operator because it has one operand, which is the one. And if you do something like one plus two, that plus is a binary operator because it has two uh, operands, the one and the two. But here we have three operands, A, condition, and B. Um, there's three of them, and so we call it a ternary operator. And since there's only one like well-defined operator in a language that takes three parameters like this, we just call it the ternary operator. So don't worry too much about the name. And the last thing I'll say is that you can actually chain these uh, these conditions together. You can write something like a if uh, condition one, else b if condition two, else c. And again, this is super straightforward. The idea is that if condition one is true, we'll have a. If condition, if condition one is false and condition two is true, we'll get b. And, and if both conditions are false, we'll get C. So for example, if the problem we're asking, um, you know, given a number return positive, negative, or zero, depending on the number, um, 
you could basically you know say you could return the string positive if the number is greater than zero else negative if the number is less than zero else the string zero and that would handle for all three of those conditions and so you can chain these as much as you want you could have 10 of them chained together although at that point there's probably a more efficient way to handle your problem and it may or may not involve a dictionary it may involve some other strategy um, but it's pretty common to have one of these maybe two of them you know once you start getting into three it's it's a bit much and so that's the basic idea uh, the ternary operator allows you to write an if else statement as a single expression and it's really really helpful um, in dealing with uh, you know one-liners and so that's all for this one I will see you guys in the next one bye for now